Hey everyone, welcome to Embedgen. Today we are going to learn how to build a relay model. First of all, why we are going why we use a relay model? As we all know that relays come in different voltages. There is 5, 6, 12 volt, 24 volt. Now as microcontroller can give maximum up to 5 volt DC. To drive a 12 volt DC relay, we have to use some kind of circuit so that we can control a 12 volt DC through a 5 volt microcontroller signal. The basic circuit that we are going to use or we are going to build is the transistor and use transistor as a switch. The components that we are going to need is diode relay that is 12 volt npn transistor leds resistors and a 5 volt supply that we are going or a 5 volt signal that we are going to get from microcontroller signal and a 12 volt vcc now we are going to use a 12 volt relay and a transistor now to build the circuit we must know all the parameters of the re relay and the transistor the simple way is to look at the data sheet now as you can see the data sheet. we are going to use 12 volt dc sl package by reading the serial number you can clearly see that s comes in serial type and the coil sensitivity that is the amount of wattage or the heat is going to dissipate or consume with the coil of the relay is around 0.36 watt the another thing is this coil data charge chart now as you all as we know that our power consumption is about 0.36 watt this table is not of use as of right now now we know that we have a 12 volt dc relay the nominal current that we are going to pass through it is 30 milli ampere that means the collector current the collector current to the coil not the collector current but the current that is required from the 12 volt supply to pass through the coil is 30 milli ampere now going to another part that is bc 4 there are few important points to keep in mind while selecting a transistor the first is the collector emitter voltage the maximum collector emitter voltage that we should be we should give is 45 volt we are giving 12 volt to the transistor it is way much smaller than the mentioned maximum data the another is the emitter base voltage that is 5 volt that is going to come from a microcontroller signal now the collector current should not exit or should not even get closer to 100 milli ampere we you should the basic simple law or uh, rule is that you use if it is given 100 million you use 80 million ampere maximum current that should pass through the transistor or else select a new transistor the reason is to select the 80 million ampere is because due to temperature variations the transistor may use or dissipate more uh, heat and may consume more current that can exceed from above 100 milliampere and may blow up the transistor and may makes our device to fail simultaneously hmm. the current gain is 110 to 800 now to use transistor as a switch we should always make our transistor from cutoff to saturated region where we see is zero we see zero volt but 
as we all know that all not all the compounds or not even one component is ideal there sh will be some vc saturation voltage that will, be, that will be across the transistor that is around 19 meter that is 0 0.09 volt to 0.2 watt the base emitter saturation voltage that is 0 0.7 volt or 0 0.9 volt usually it is 0 0.7 volt now as we as i have mentioned all these points we are going to see in the circuit ahead now to build this relay this relay is used whenever our coil is switch or the power is given to the relay or the circuit that is VCC and this LED will let us know that our signal has that is 5 volt has come through uh, the microcontroller and our transistor is going to work now to select this resistor we all know that LED is going to drop 3 volt that is 12 minus 3 that is 9 volt now 9 volt should be dropped over here because as you all know that there will be many voltage uh, drop here that means this ground is connected here we can assume that there is no voltage drop here so we will be getting ground here now to select this resistance we should know that how much current we should let through pass through the LED now looking at the data sheet of the LED you will know that up to maximum 20 milliampere to 30 milliampere we can pass through the LED but on a safer side I am going to choose a 9 milliampere though the intensity will be low but our circuit will be safe or our resist our LED will be safe if the current exceeds from 20 milliampere 20 milliampere to 30 milliampere then it may blow up the LED to select the resistor we all know that basic ohm's law that is v by i that is 9 volt divided by 9 milliampere that is 1 kilo ohm so we will need biasing resistor 1 kilo ohm to drive this LED now total current that we are going to pass is 30 milliampere and 9 milliampere that is gives 39 milliampere now collector current that is going to pass to the coil as you can see or look in the data sheet is around nominal current that is 30 milliampere so 30 milliampere plus 9 volt that is 39 milliampere now here are the basic BC547 specs you can use the BC847 that is the same version but it is in SMD version BC547 is a through hole version and BC847 is an SMD version now one important topic to cover before we select a transistor is the hard situation now you can see or you can look at the data sheet you will know that our current gate gain is 110 to 800 now we want our transistor to act like a switch act like a switch uh, which does not take 110 or 800 current gate into account we there is a term called hard saturation now hard saturation is that for a minimum current the transistor will switch or act as a switch the basic rule is to keep a current gain of 10 now how to design or how to make this current gain 10 is up to us so let's say that we need or we have a current gain or total current that is 39 milliampere now HIB that is base current we should have at least 3.9 milliampere so that our transistor operates in a situation or rather hard saturation that is our base current should be minimum 3.9 milliampere 
Now, as we all know, right? There's the LED. Five volt is going to be is going to come through the signal. There will be three volt drop. That is five minus three is two volt, and there will be a VB drop. That is 0 0.7 volt. I have not taken that is 2 minus 0.7 volt and we need to select this resistor in the circuit now 2 minus 0.7 that is 1.3 volt now to select the resistor again We you know that we must let our IB that should be around 3.9 milliampere. So we get RB that is biasing resistor for the transistor should be around 333 ohm. Now you cannot get 333 ohm in the market, but you can get 330 ohm readily available in the market. So you will get a 3.93 milliampere if you use 330 ohm resistor. Now the current gain will be 39 divided by 3.93 that is 9.92. So by confirming this we can say that our transistor is going to operate in a hard situation. That is irrespective of the current. That means whenever there is going to be a signal or 5 volt the transistor will switch and remember in mind to let a transistor act as a switch we should always see that if the condition or the transistor is in hard situation condition so we use a 330 ohm resistor in this way we can build a relay module we can use a 12 volt or 24 volt DC, it doesn't matter. You just keep in mind that what is the current requirement for the coil. And just according to it, you just select your res biasing resistors and transistor. Now go make your own. Do like, share and subscribe.